we have done the two types the molecular solids the ionic solids now we come to the metallic solids okay and and what happens in a metal metals are nothing but but a collection of the respective atoms right still they tend to be so hard apart from apart from certain metals like certain metals like metals which are normally soft are which mm -hmm. which mercury is the molten metal actually at room temperature it is molten it is a metal but it is molten so many a times it is used to make contacts between certain things that you'll uh, understand later in transformers there is a kind of relay called Bacall's relay that is used <coughs> Mm. And many other places, many other places, not only this. Mm. Soft metals, sodium. Sodium is a soft metal, you can cut it with knife. Right? Potassium, Potassium. that's also soft. Mm. That's also soft. Then, low melting points, cesium. You put in your hand, melts. Similarly, mercury has its melting point quite less than your room temperature. That's why you are you find it as a as a liquid, right? If you if you reduce the temperature, obviously the mercury will, will, will get converted into it will get converted into a solid. Fine. So metallic solids are nothing but an orderly arrangement of the atoms. An orderly arrangement of atoms right an orderly arrangement of atoms there is another great thing about about the metals that why, why are we calling them metals because they are good conductors of electricity why are they good conductors of electricity? Because at room temperature, at room temperature, the valence electrons have a tendency to leave their parent atoms and keep on floating in the solid matrix. Right? So they do not belong to any particular atom. They have lost their parents and they just keep on roaming. Okay, this is due to the, how, how, how do they do that? This is due to the, I am talking about room temperature. This is due to the, due to the low ionization energy of the metals. You must have seen, they have got very, very low ionization energy. That's why they are called electropositive. They have a tendency to get converted into, into a positive ion. Okay, atoms which at room temperature which at room temperature have a tendency to lose their electrons to lose their electrons that is vital at room temperature it gains energy from the ambience ambient and it it gets converted into an ion so it has a tendency to lose their electrons thus they are positive ions they are positive ions surrounded by by a huge number of C of electrons, a C of electrons, okay, which keep on floating throughout. That's why at times this is called electron cloud. Electron cloud, okay, it is termed as an electron cloud.
Now this characteristic leads to the things that we know the most about the electrons. So, the characteristics are what? What are the characteristics of electrons? No, the the met the metals due to this. Obviously, the first thing is that they are good conductors of electricity. Okay? They are the good conductors of electricity. Why? Because as the electrons have a strong tendency to move in case of in case an electric field is applied in case an electric field is applied Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a balance electrons which get kicked off. Mm -hmm. But they are after all at the end of the day they are electrons, right? Yes, they are the valence electrons because they are the first to get kicked out, obviously. Hmm? So to move in case of an in case an electric field is applied. So they are very good conductors of 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 the electricity, right? They are very good conductors of electricity. Now what? What else? Hmm? The bonds are strong, so so normally are hard solids. They are hard solids with high melting point and boiling point. Okay, hard exception sodium, potassium. Okay, solid exception Hg. Mercury, high melting boiling point, exception, hmm? cesium and gallium, okay, you put it on your hand, cesium melts at around 20-25 degrees centigrade melts. Hmm? Hmm. From there it is less, but otherwise it is high. For example, iron, it has got a melting point of 1100 degree centigrade. This is a huge amount of um, this thing. And as we will see in D block elements, why does that happen? Because there are so many attachments that it is able to make. The metallic bonds are formed due to so many, so many bonds getting formed, right? In D block, we will study all that. Now the characteristic color also, now, now, now if you heat, if we heat metals, the energy gets transferred to the electrons, the energy gets transferred to the electrons, right? The energy gets transferred to the electrons. Now what happens due to that? The electrons start moving faster. Physics, full physics. Okay, We have studied in electricity that the electrons start moving faster, they start colliding faster. So your relaxation time becomes less. So your conductivity becomes, your resistivity becomes more. 
and your conductivity becomes less. So your resistance goes up. That is the reason. Fine. Energy gets transferred to the electrons. They move faster and collide too frequently. Too frequently. That is tau becomes small. Tau. What is tau? Tau is relaxation time. In physics, this is called relaxation time. Now, what is relaxation time? Hmm? Idea? Time between, between two collisions. Time, relaxation time is time between two collisions. You collide? Next collision. So I start counting when you collide first, then second I I put my watch down. So so it's a statistical phenomena. Okay, it has to be because all of them do not collide at the same time. Some some less, some more, but it averages out, right? So if we heat the metals and collide too frequently, then become small, and the resistivity goes up. The resistivity increases okay resistivity increases characteristic color gets imparted to the metals imparted to the metals due to the electron clouds what else they are malleable and that ductile they are also characteristic color and luster luster also is due to that luster gets imparted to the metals due to the electron clouds they are malleable and ductile what is malleability what is ductility can be beaten into sheets correct how about this can be drawn into wires this you must have studied in physics in class 11th right what happens what happens if the ultimate tensile strength and the fracture point are too far away the metal is ductile if it is too too close it becomes brittle it fractures 